Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and I'm back from the Last of Us video. So, in today's video, guys, I'm going to be discussing 2021. Now, we just recently now already been a week into it. What I believe Naughty Dog's plans are for the year, and what is to be expected. Last year was obviously a more interesting year for the company, especially with The Last of Us 2 and all the controversy surrounding the game. So, now that we are in a new year now... We are have a lot of expectations as to what could be coming from Naughty Dog, whether that would be The Last of Us Part 2 coming to PS5, maybe a remaster, we got potentially factions, multiplayer releasing, maybe even something about The Last of Us Part 3, initial reveal of it or at least discussions of it, or a potential DLC. We're going to discuss all those ideas and the outlook of the company going into this year. Before I start this video, let me know down below in the comments what you guys think 2021 is going to hold for Naughty Dog, what are the plans, and also if you want to do me a favor, be sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and join about the 32% of people that watch these videos that are subscribed. So before we go into specifics on what I expect in 2021, let's talk about the lead up to 2021. Recently, if you have not really been paying close attention, you might have heard some things the last couple of weeks, ever since The Last of Us 2 released, we had probably the one big major update, which was the Grounded mode, which, in my opinion, was a fantastic update as well with Permadeath. And after that, it's kind of been silenced. Now, a lot of people have wanted a update on the PlayStation 5. You just had a new console come out, and you've seen games like Ghost Tsushima, Days Gone, God of War, been getting PS5 updates, 60 FPS, etc. So now... Obviously, you have probably one of the best games in terms of gameplay in The Last of Us Part 2. 60 FPS is needed, ray tracing, other kinds of improvements and little mini things they could add. Outfits, maybe. A lot of things people have wanted that they could add in an update, or is it going to be a remaster version? I think they could be doing that. Now, before 2020 ended, we got a couple bombshell things that happened in terms of Naughty Dog. Some of these were expected, some of these might not have been. One of them was being that Neil Druckmann had been promoted as the co-president of Naughty Dog. As they said, Neil Druckmann joins me as co-president of Naughty Dog after serving almost three years as vice president. And they're welcoming Allison, Maury, and Christian Gerling as vice presidents. Feel proud of the team. When I'm able to recognize their accomplishment, the computer seal, please join me giving them all a huge translation. So congratulations to all those people that got promotions awesome to hear and at the end of last year neil Druckmann said and that's a wrap on a crazy stressful scary and gratifying work year we cannot wait to share the new things we're working on until then happy holidays y'all and a lot of tweets came from this could it be factions could it be last of us 3 dlc last of us 2 ps5 update or version lots of discussions to have which we will discuss here virtually on my thoughts what we're going to be getting Several months ago, I made a video basically talking that there was a PS5 game confirmed for development based on the job listings that they'd had. Now, Naughty Dog is hiring for 2020's production assembly ramps up on first PS5 game. Last of Us 2 developer Naughty Dog has a bunch of new job openings for 2021 as the studio presumably knuckles down on production for its first PS5 game, which is unnamed at this moment. I remember. We have a lot of possibilities as to what that PlayStation 5 title could be. And that's what we'll discuss also later in this video. To go on fourth, there's an absolute boatload of openings available at the Sony-owned studio, including positions in animation, production art, editorial, game design, lighting and visual effects, UI, programming, and more. Evidently, the studio is looking to swell its ranks considerably its new year. Now, I typically delves into a new IP territory for a new generation console after making Crash Bandicoot games for PS1, Jack and Dexter PS2, and Uncharted Drake's Fortune for PS3. However, things changed slightly then as it also worked on The Last of Us for PS3 and then remastered for PS4 for working on Uncharted 4 and The Last of Us Part 2 on the same console. So now the question rises up, could they pursue a new IP for the PS5 or perhaps work on a sequel to an existing franchise? We're going to have to be keeping a close eye on this. That opens up a couple possibilities, which we'll discuss right now. The first one being The Last of Us 2 multiplayer. Now, there's recently been a really good video I've seen in regards to it from 
the Last of Us strategist. If you haven't checked out his channel, please go check out his channel. He talked about job listings that pretty much hinted that there was going to be something soon in regards to factions. Whether we get it in 2021 or not, it does seem like there's going to be some promotional, you know, trailers and stuff coming by spring or summer, depending on how things go. And we already know The Last of Us 2 multiplayer is confirmed. It's coming. Whether it's going to be this year or not, that's to be seen. But it's pretty obvious it's one of the big things Naughty Dog is working on. One of the things, as I referenced in the tweet earlier in the video, Neil Druckmann tweeted, that they're working on. So that covers multiplayer. I'll probably have a video in the next couple weeks discussing when I think we could be getting some news or a reveal in terms of multiplayer for part two. Then we've got The Last of Us Part 3. Now that's obviously something I am 100% certain is going to come. Some of you believe that there's no chance they're going to do a Part 3. But based on the ending of Part 2 and everything that's been said, I do believe inevitably there will be a Part 3. Will we get anything in terms of it this year? That is possible. I don't think so though. In essence, we're probably going to look at maybe 2022, 2023 to when we get a reveal into Part 3. Because I think the next game, it's going to be the multiplayer. Maybe then they'll announce a new IP. And then I could see Part 3 getting potentially revealed. Obviously, we have a huge correlation with Abby and Ellie. And I believe a finishing culmination of the story to be coming. You guys have really enjoyed the videos where I've discussed what could be next. But we'll have to wait and see. Next, I would say we're talking about DLC. Now, a lot of people want an Abby DLC. Something with Tommy, maybe Joel, characters that maybe we didn't get, you know, the most time with, or we want to know more about their stories and stuff, especially in the past. You know, I think it's possible. I just don't really see it happening. I think it's more likely that we'll get a part three than we'll get a DLC. But, you know, don't count that out of the question. If there is going to be a DLC, it could be this year, late this year, or early next year, if it ends up happening. Then you've got, potentially, The Last of Us 2 getting a remaster slash PS5 version. Now, I discussed it a little bit earlier in this video. My thoughts on this happening, I am, out of anything that I am sure is coming in 2021, I am fairly certain this is 100% going to come. We've had the rivals of The Last of Us, Naughty Dog, and Friends, whatever you want to say, Sony, other developers, make PS5 improvements for their titles. And why not? Make one for The Last of Us 2. This will get me motivated as hell to replay the game. A game that I've already beaten six times, by the way. Platinum the game. I really do hope Naughty Dog does come in clutch, though, and drops that bombshell Last of Us Part 2 remaster PS5 version enhancements. I really do want that. And the last thing that I haven't really discussed yet is a new IP. That is something we could be getting this year, and it's an underdog in my opinion. It's one that a lot of people expect, but are they ready already to reveal the next game that they're working on besides The Last of Us 2 multiplayer? I think it's very, very likely we are going to get something in regards to it very, very soon, whether it's this year or in all likeliness, probably going to be in 2022. But those are all the options. Naughty Dog has a big year planned for 2021, though. So do not sleep on 2021 being a sleep year because Naughty Dog just released The Last of Us Part 2. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to do me a favor. Drop a like, subscribe. Be sure to turn on all post notifications to not miss any videos or streams in regards to The Last of Us and its future in the coming weeks and months. And I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. And until then, keep looking for the light, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.